Monarch butterflies, the miracles of life. Each fall, more than 100 million monarchs migrate from all over North America to 12 small groves of firs in a 60 by 70 mile area on a mountain range west of Mexico City. 3,000 mile flight, and they do this without having made the trip ever before. Far more incredible than its migration, the monarch's metamorphosis is something to behold. When the butterfly changes from a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly, there are two completely different designs here. One design is for the caterpillar, that's the initial stage, and all that does is creep around on the backside of a leaf and it munches and eats all day, increases its size about 250 times, that's all it does. But then it goes into the chrysalid, it turns into liquid, and then it comes out with a totally different design. What was the butterfly designed to do? Well, that was designed to fly, of course, where the caterpillar wasn't. It was designed to uh, drink the nectar from the flowers, but at the same time fertilize the flowers. It was designed to mate, and it was designed to be able to migrate from one country to the other, several thousand miles in some cases. So it's designed for specific things. The caterpillar has one thing to do, to grow, eat and grow. And the butterfly has several things to do, eat, grow, fertilize and mate. All butterflies undergo an amazing transformation during their life cycle. The insect begins as an egg, then a crawling caterpillar, followed by the pupa stage. During this stage, the caterpillar begins to convulse in rhythmic jerks, breaking off its outer skin. Its legs and head capsule are quickly shed, giving rise to a chrysalis. Then, within the first day, the caterpillar's organs disintegrate into a soupy liquid. Miraculously, after one to two weeks, a complex winged butterfly emerges. This metamorphosis takes place in a matter of days, not millions of years. The adult butterfly now has six segmented legs, antennae, a specialized feeding tube, two amazing compound eyes, complex reproductive organs, and four ornate wings. The caterpillar had none of these features. Clearly, the genetic instructions for all these stages were programmed into the insect by the creator from the beginning. Everything about this creature is unexplained by evolutionary processes. How does the caterpillar make a chrysalis and dissolve itself into jelly and come out a butterfly? How could a creature with six simple eyes, which see in black and white, create two new eyes, each made up of 6,000 individual lenses with the ability to see in color? How could a creature with a chewing mouth that eats only leaves develop a long tongue that sucks only flower nectar? How could a creature with 16 legs produce completely different shaped legs and wings? How could this have happened by chance when any flaw along the way would have produced death? You know the master engineer designed this incredible system. The caterpillar silts itself into a chrysalis, dissolves itself into jelly, and emerges as a butterfly. How did it do this? Well, it's in its genetic code called DNA. Every butterfly has it pre-programmed to become a butterfly, and no one will be able to explain it or repeat it.